control and coordination all living things respond to stimuli this means they react to changes in their surroundings for example we shiver when it's cold cold is the stimulus and shivering is the response a plant bends towards sunlight here sunlight is the stimulus and bending is the response our mouth waters when we see or smell ice cream ice cream is the stimulus and salivation is the response if the school principal suddenly visits your classroom that's the stimulus your response might be sitting straight or becoming silent how do organisms respond to stimuli most responses protect the organism from danger the nervous system and hormonal system help in giving responses nerve cells are also called neurons they detect stimuli and carry messages each neuron has parts like the cell body nucleus dendrites axon and nerve endings receptors and their role special tips on sensory neurons are called receptors they detect stimuli and convert them into electrical signals there are different types of receptors olfactory receptors in the nose they detect the smell gustatory receptors in the tongue detect taste now let us see how neurons work neurons carry information to different parts of the nervous system this is called nerve conduction dendrites receive nerve signals and pass them to the next neuron through nerve endings neurons are not physically connected there is a small gap called a synapse at the synapse the electrical signal turns into a chemical signal this chemical crosses the gap and turns back into an electrical signal in the next neuron now let us see types of neurons there are two different types of neurons present in animals sensory neurons and motor neurons sensory neurons carry messages from sense organs to the brain or spinal cord motor neurons carry messages from the brain or spinal cord to muscles or glands next pathways of response there are two pathways long pathway signal goes from sense organ to spinal cord to brain again to spinal cord and to muscles so this takes more time the second one is short pathway signals go from sense organ to spinal cord directly to muscles this gives a fast response and it is called a reflex action reflex actions these are quick automatic and involuntary responses reflex actions are very fast and protect us from danger a specific stimulus causes a specific response now let's see the parts or components of a reflex arc one receptor receptors detect the stimulus two sensory neurons they send the signals to spinal cord three relay neurons they processes the information four motor neuron they send signals to the muscles or glands five effector that is muscle or gland that reacts nervous system structure central nervous system it's also called as cns it consists of brain and spinal cord peripheral nervous system that is pns which consists of nerves now let us look at how the brain is protected the brain is soft and delicate it is protected by three layers called meninges between these layers there is a fluid called cerebrospinal fluid that prevents shocks the brain and meninges are covered by a bony case called the cranium now let us look at the functions of the brain the brain is the main control center of the body it collects information and sends instructions it controls thinking emotions decision making memory and body functions voluntary functions means which are under our control like writing talking dancing whereas involuntary functions means 
which are not under our control like digestion, heartbeat, sneezing, etc. Now let us look at parts of the brain. First one, forebrain. It controls thinking, decision making, memory. It has centers for smell, taste, hearing and vision. It controls voluntary movements and hunger. For example, when playing football, your eyes send information to the brain. The brain decides and send the signals to the muscles of your leg to kick the ball. 2. Midbrain Midbrain controls reflexes of eyes and ears. It controls movements of eyes and eyelids. Hindbrain It has three parts, pons, medulla and cerebellum. Pons controls sleeping and breathing. Medulla controls heartbeat, breathing and blood pressure. Cerebellum controls balance and coordination like walking, cycling, drawing, etc. Now we are moving to the next topic, coordination in plants. Plants also respond to stimuli like sunlight, water, touch, chemicals, etc. Their responses are mostly shown through movements. For example, stems bend towards sunlight. Roots grow towards water or soil. Tendrils coil around support. Touch-me-not plants closes its leaves when touched. Now, how do plants move? Plants do not have a nervous or muscular system like animals. Movements in plants happen due to growth or by changing their cell shape. Let us look at the first one, growth-based movements. These movements are also called tropic movements. 1. Phototrophism That is the movement of plants towards light, for example, stem bending towards light. 2. Zeotrophism Movement towards gravity means roots growing towards soil. Hydrotrophism Movement towards water, roots growing towards water. Thigmotrophism Response to touch, example, tendrils coiling around a support. 5. Chemotropism Response to chemicals Example Pollen tube growing to ovule What causes these movements? These movements are controlled by special chemicals called phytohormones. Example If a plant bends right side, cells on the left side grow longer due to a hormone called auxin. Now let us look at the major phytohormones and their functions. First one, auxins. They help the cells to grow longer. They are responsible for tropic movements. They are found in shoot and root tips. Two, gibberellins. They help in stem and root growth. Third one, cytokinins. They help in cell division and they are found in fruits and in seeds. And the next one, abscisic acid. This one, it slows the growth of plants and causes leaf wilting. And the next one, ethylene. This helps the fruits to ripen. Now, let us look at hormonal control in animals. So, animals have a hormonal system called endocrine system. Animals also use hormones for their control and coordination. This is done by the endocrine system. Now, let's see what are hormones. Hormones are chemical messengers made by endocrine glands. They control growth, repair and reproduction. Hormones are released into the blood and reach all parts of the body. But only target organs respond to them. Example, fight or flight response. If a dog attacks a person, that is the stimulus. Running away or fighting is the response. The adrenal gland releases a hormone called adrenaline. Adrenaline increases heart rate and breathing to supply more oxygen and glucose to muscles. It reduces blood flow to skin and digestive system and increases it to muscles. Now, let's see the importance of iodized salt. We need iodine to make a hormone called thyroxine made by the thyroid gland of our body. Thyroxine controls 
how our body uses food for energy that means it controls our metabolism lack of iodine reduces thyroxin production and causes goiter that is swelling in the neck next growth hormone this is made by the pituitary gland it controls height and bone growth if less hormone is produced it leads to dwarfism that is short height if too much growth hormone is produced it leads to gigantism that means they grow very tall next male and female hormones testosterone is the male hormone it helps to develop male features like beard mustache and sperm production estrogen is the female hormone it develops female features like breasts menstruation and ovary development next diabetes and insulin insulin is a hormone made by the pancreas it controls blood sugar levels normal blood sugar is 99 mg per 100 ml of blood in diabetic people insulin is not made properly so sugar stays high in the blood high sugar levels can damage the heart eyes kidneys and nerves so doctors advise diabetic people to avoid sugary and starchy foods and sometimes these people are given insulin doses to control their blood sugar levels so this is all about control and coordination and if you like the video please give it a like and please share this video with your friends and write your suggestions in the comment box and please subscribe to great booster channel